Cup week's over, but the punt goes on. This is the best of BGP, powered by Trackside. Let's find some winners. Back for another week, Luke. Cup week's over, but it looked like an outstanding day at Rickerton last week, mate. How was it? Oh, it was very, very good to be down there and get amongst the people, having a crack on track. But of course, the punting took centre stage, and we went all right down there too. Absolutely. Scam man on show day. He brought us home with a multi to kick off the weekend. Shangri-La top four into Mossdale Bend top four. That gave us a little bit of a fill-up rolling into the weekend, which was quite nice. Thanks, Scan man. And what about this for a performance? The GOAT, his best bet getting home, Lord Donovan. Three wins in seven days. I haven't even had three wins in my racing career, and this horse has gone and done it in a week. Also, Ted, he got Molly Bloom home on Saturday. Everybody wanted to know who was going to win the 1,000 guineas. Molly Bloom absolutely boomed home down the outside at Rickerton. It was an outstanding performance. Ted got the trifecta on Friday with his best bets, and he brought home Molly Bloom on Saturday. And a certain somebody in this very room had an absolute fill up from 20 bucks. And I'll give you the tip, it wasn't me. So Matt, it must have been you. Tell us about it. Mate, it's what punting dreams are made of. $20 return me, $1,350. All on the lads, best bets from last weekend. Sinbin to kick it off on Friday. And then the rest of the lads, top three and top four on Saturday. 50% going to the wife for Christmas. Perfect timing on that. Thank you very much, Luke. The other 50% is going to go to the Karaka Millions Punters Club. We're not too far away. We are that fired up after Cup Week that we've gone for two bless bets this weekend. Hopefully the first one can pay for a few OJs because we're going to Orange and backing Line of Law in the BGP Silks. Was $2.30 out to $2.70. Hopefully this can get the boys paid. Doubling up Saturday afternoon, Cranbourne race 10. Jimmy Starr for the win, boosted from $2.80 out to $3.20. Good luck if you're having a crack at the blessed bet this weekend. Well, let's see if we can get a couple more Christmas presents under the tree for your wife, Matt. What's your best bet this weekend? Absolutely, Luke. That would be outstanding. We, I've gone to race 9, Pukekohe, in the Auckland Thoroughbred Breeders Stakes. Our Alley Cat smashed them at Hawke's Bay a few weeks back. Luke, I know you're liking this horse as well. She's a top Group 2 performer, and I think she can take this out on Saturday. Well, once I've had a fill-up from that, Matt, I'm going to have a crack in the very next race at a horse called Lorado. Now, this horse is only 1-1 one, one race, but I think it can get another one tomorrow when Michael McNabb's the last at Pukekohe. And of course, Ted's got another Christmas gift for us, Luke. Where's he going? Don't worry about the presents under the tree. We can smack some candy canes on it here too. He's on fire at the moment. We're going nice and early. Pukekohe, race number two, candy cane, an outstanding each way play. And of course, the rest of the lads have got some best bets for us this weekend. Starting with Aussie Matt Cranbourne, race one, Warmonger. He's liking that to get his day started at Cranbourne. Dan's going to Pukekohe, race three, Cimarron. Scan man, hopefully he can get, go back to back here. Timaru Harness, race seven, Heisenberg. And Fitzy on Sunday to close out the weekend with first rows. Good luck if you're having a crack at the best bets this weekend. Thanks for another great show, Luke. You're coming into your busy season. What's happening? I'm getting into some work, mate, and I hear you will be soon too because we've already got 15,000 in the Karakamillion Punters Club for January the 27th. You're going to put your 500 on. That's going to boost that up. Everybody can get involved via the TAB website already. The perfect Secret Santa gift. Absolutely. It's very, very exciting times. Hopefully we're back at Ellerslie, but we've got the County's Cup this weekend. Good luck to everybody that's having a play. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us.